Welcome back to Go Engineer's YouTube channel. My name is Agustin Jimenez. This video is about using SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Where is Pack and Go and what is it? SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go is found from the file menu within SOLIDWORKS. Or you can also get to Pack and Go through File Explorer, right clicking on a file and selecting SOLIDWORKS. Pack and Go. SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go gathers all related files for a model design. You can have SOLIDWORKS include parts, assemblies, drawings, references, toolbox components, decals, appearances, scenes, and SOLIDWORKS simulation results. These files can be saved to a new folder or a zip file. This is great when you are needing to take files with you to work from home, for example, or if you're needing to send files to an outside source. Or another example would be sending these files to Go Engineer's technical support department. Within Pack and Go, you will have a list of parts and subassemblies that you can include or exclude from your new file set. Down towards the bottom, you'll have information such as how many subassemblies, parts, and drawings you have, as well as the total number of items. The organization of your new file set can be established using the three options flatten to single folder, flatten to minimal folders, and keep full folder structure. File names can be changed individually or many at a time like I will do in a moment as well as include a prefix or a suffix. Along with being able to alter file names you can use the select replace function to alter different criteria at once. The select replace function allows you to set search criteria from the search drop down menu where you can search by the different column headers such as save to folder. I want to save a copy of these files in a project B folder, which I have already created. I also want to rename my files to be numbered instead of these descriptive file names. I have an Excel sheet with my new file names and I'm going to simply copy and paste them here by clicking on the first item. I also want my new files to have an underscore B suffix and all I do now is hit save. Navigating to the Project B folder, we will find all the files to this project along with the corresponding changes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Bye for now.